According to Hindu mythology, the Valley of Kashmir was created out of the efforts of Kashyap Rishi. Kashmir stands apart for its outstanding contributions to religion, philosophy, the arts, aesthetics, literature, not to speak of the spiritual grace that it offers its inhabitants. This film depicts the saga of 350,000 Kashmiri Pandits, who were the aboriginals of Kashmir. A hundred percent educated community. For one fine morning on the 19th of January 1990, asked to leave their homeland, Kashmir. An audio tape was played in all the mosques. After this, thousands of Kashmiri Muslims came out onto the streets, burnt the houses belonging to the pundits, raped their women, and short, stole and ugly. The act was orchestrated by Pakistan when Benazir Bhutto was in power. Her rhetoric fueled the vengeance and hatred which left the valley in flames. One who wants to stay in Kashmir, usko alagbar kehna hoga. This was one thing. Number two, yahan kya chalega nizam e mustafa Islamic pattern of that government. This was another slogan. Third slogan was, Kashmiri Panto Bhagjav. These were the slogans. Or Jab Ye Masis Ke Jalu Sate Te Usme Jiswakat Is Prakar Ke Slogans Te as a layman, as a leader of the community. Kya Me Conversion Me Jata? Kya Me Ujon Hune Nam Nihad, so called Jahad Ka Nara Diya Hai. क्या मैं उसके साथ जॉइन करूं या यहां से चला जाऊं दिस वर थ्री ऑप्शंस गिवन टू मी सो आई थॉट इट इज बेटर टू लीव इसी को बचाने के लिए हम वहां से यहां आए मैंने कहा चलो नहीं हम नहीं वो करेंगे हम अपना जन्यू बचाएंगे हम भाग जाएंगे अपने बेटियों बहुओं का इज्जत बचाएंगे हम चले जाएंगे बाहर हर एक मस्जिद से आवाज आई अल्लाह अकबर अल्लाह अकबर इतनी आवाज आई कि जैसे जैसे गरज के आवाज आ रही थी देर वॉज अ फुल पेज एडवर्टीजमेंट इन द लोकल न्यूज पेपर अल सफा विच आज कश्मीरी पंडित टू लीव कश्मीर विद इन टू डेज अदरवाइज वी विल किल यू बट इट हैव रियली स्टार्ट बैक इन नाइनटीन एटी नाइन when terrorists started with selected killings of Kashmiri Pandit leaders. Three men came to our house at 10 in the morning. They took my husband outside. After some time, we found a poster pasted on the door on which it was written that we have killed your husband and thrown his body in the Jhelum River. We have still not found his body. Knife was pierced into my eyes. Then they pulled my tongue out and cut with scissors. उस रात जो पूरे पूरा ये मैं नहीं कह सकती किसने मैनुअल या ऑर्गेनाइज किया था पर पूरी वादी में एक ही तहलका मच गया रात को एक या दो बजे पंडितों घर से भाग जाओ नहीं तो तुम्हें खत्म कर दिया जाएगा. Threatening letters were pasted on doors. Telephone calls at the dark hours of the morning, asking them to leave Kashmir forever. Both dead bodies were on strangulation. And youngsters were picked up from their houses and strangulated with steel wires. Women were hanged naked on trees. Some were even burnt alive. Others branded with hot irons. Five men came in a jeep, picked up my son, and took him away. Somebody told us that he was killed near a place called Tulliban. We have still not found his body. My son had come to perform his mother's last rites. At 11 p.m., he was picked up and killed. I had to run away with my daughter-in-law and grandson.
They used to remove processions, abuse our daughters, and humiliate us. And that's why we had to run away. My husband was kidnapped from his office, and his dead body was thrown away on Ali Jan Road. His body was so badly mutilated with bullets that we even couldn't give him his last bath. The Kashmiri pundits protested vehemently, but the world remained silent. Indian Parliament remained silent. Intellectuals, secularists, human rights activists remained silent. Leftists, rightists, they all remained silent. A silence that would, in time to come, prove deafening. To save their dignity and their lives, these 350,000 Kashmiri pundits had to flee their homeland, leaving behind everything they had. They took refuge at the feet of the rest of India, a secular, democratic India. But what kind of a refuge was this? Indians, refugees in their own country? The pundits thought it would be a temporary phase. Things would get better. Years went by. It is now 12 years since. The 350,000 Kashmiri pundits are still languishing in camps. What a shame. This is a refugee camp surrounded by factories where bricks are manufactured. The dust from the kiln enters the lungs of the residents. Today, nearly 90% of the population here, including children, suffer from asthma and various other diseases. Representations, protests, have all fallen on deaf ears. The basic amenities like water is also not available here. There are three generations living under one tent. There is an old person, there are younger person, there are children. So in a way, if you take this sexual life, that has been totally denied to people. And that is one reason why I was telling you dwindling population. Camps ke andar, jo bhi aap hala dekhte hain, it is merely ke hume upar thoda sa chhat mila hai. Aap dekh lijiye, yahan to koi for the last two years. नहीं इसकी कोई रिपेयरिंग होती है नहीं इसमें कोई सैनिटेशन का बंदोबस्त है बीमारियां बढ़ गई और हमारे जो खर्चे हैं दवाइयों के वो बढ़ गए मोर देन 20000 पीपल हैव डाइड इन द कैंप्स एंड एल्सवेयर आफ्टर द फोर्स्ड एक्सोडस फ्रॉम द वैली मेनी डाइड ऑफ सनस्ट्रोक एज मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर यूज्ड टू द कोल्ड क्लाइमेट ऑफ कश्मीर and could not acclimatize to the extremely hot temperatures in the rest of India. Heart attacks and accidents, which have been mainly attributed to extreme psychological trauma, were the other main causes. The diaspora they underwent to find a livelihood in various parts of the country fractured the cohesiveness of the displaced families. An entire community with a distinct culture is today facing the threat of extinction after losing their natural habitat. <laughs> Terrorism in Kashmir is an ideological struggle 
with specified political commitments which are fundamentalist and communal in character. The major dimension of the terrorist violence in Kashmir is the terrorist commitment to the extermination and subjugation of the Hindus in the state. Because the Hindus and the other minorities do not subscribe to the idea of separating from India, nor do they agree to be governed by a state which derives its authority from the law and precedence of Islamic Nizami Mustafa. My husband's hands were tied from behind and he was hanged on a tree, leaving him to die. One person came to my house and told my mother that somebody is calling you outside. When she went out, she saw my father's dead body. Terrorist violence in the valley is not a freedom struggle at all. And the ethnic cleansing of Kashmiri pundits from Kashmir is a clear testimony to this fact. Who has come here to ask us what has happened to my son? He has been killed. कुपारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट में की बात मैं करता हूँ कुपारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट में करीबन सौ मंदिर थे तो उन सौ मंदिरों का तो वहाँ तो मिट्टी भी नहीं है उस मंदिर की है इतना उन्हें उसको उजाड़ दिया उस रीजन में मंदिरों को तोड़ा गया